Hey everyone, Courtney here. So I know I haven't brought you guys a YouTube video in a really long time. <clears throat> um, I have, I've had so much going on lately that I just haven't, you know, really had time. But I'm going to make time for more YouTube videos because I know you guys crave them. So here I'm doing a video on a subscription service for coloring. It's a company called Hue. And they're fairly new. They send out coloring boxes. Uh, to people who have subscribed with them and they're a really cool subscription service. I, I, I've i never really seen a coloring subscription service before. I mean they're a scroller box but I think they're more towards like materials I guess to use like different like pens and pencils and stuff but like I've never seen a service that's really geared towards like adult coloring so this is really neat and different. They were actually, they, they've been looking for bloggers and reviewers to, you know, review their product and kind of help to expand their audience. And I was chosen as one of those people. And, you know, I'm in no way affiliated with them at all. I don't work for them. I wasn't even asked to do a video. I'm doing this video because I believe in this service to be a good one. And um, I'm giving you, you know, my own opinion. It's nowhere near driven by Hugh at all. And so I just decided to bring the video on my own will. I could have easily taken, you know, a few snapshots of the box and posted them to Facebook, but I figured doing a video, <clears throat> sorry, doing a video would be um, even better because I can do it in a little bit more detail. So in the box, when you open it, um, it's a very good professionally packaged box. Everything's like wrapped up and it's really cool. It's like a present almost. And it tells you what's in the box. So in this spring's issue, we have uh, the Staedtler Triangular Colored Pencil Pack. We have some tea, a candle, and the coloring book. So this one is the edible issue. So you don't just get, you know, coloring items. They give you other stuff that's really... You know, to set the mood, you know, you get a candle and tea. Like, who doesn't want to drink a nice hot cup of tea, light a candle, and then color? It's very relaxing. So I really like how they set this up. It's a very um, nice token of appreciation to put that other kind of little gifts in the box as well. So I really like that. I had already unwrapped my candle because I couldn't help myself. I love candles. But it was very nicely decorated with a little, like, uh, bow at the top. And, but, you know, I ruined it because I always ruin pretty things. And so in, in this little, looks like a Chinese takeout box, is a uh, natural beeswax candle. Um, it's made at Von Hardenberg Farms in British Columbia, Canada. And uh, they're handmade from 100% Canadian beeswax. And they use, uh, and it uses 100% cotton wick for eco-friendly and a nice clean burn. So they're really uh, safe to use, um, especially around, just be careful, obviously, around your book. <laughs> Don't light it on fire. So that's really cool. Especially because, you know, they're, the company is based in Canada. You know, these guys are, these guys live there, so to use and help out another Canadian business is kind of really, it's really cool. I like that they do that. And then, you know, I always get a card from them when they send me stuff. But this one has a little gift for everyone and has a promo code. And uh, I'm pretty sure it takes off 10% of your subscription. So I'll be putting that promo code in the video description when I'm finished. And so that's a nice little treat for you all. And then we have our pencils, uh, Staedtler. The, I think pretty sure these are just a triangular, regular color pencils. I've used these before. They're not bad. Uh, you know, they're the one of the cheapest ends of Staedtler. Uh, but they blend really nice. They're a little bit above Crayola. Um, they have a, an equally hard lead and they keep a point really well too. Uh, just be careful with uh, breakage. I had a little bit of issue sharpening some of these, um, but all in all, they're a decent pencil to use, especially, you know, you're getting them in your box for free. I mean, not really for free, you're paying for it, but I mean, you're 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 just getting a new set to try out and they're a really decent pencil. Um and then we have our book. So uh, sorry, we have our tea too. So this is like a chamomile tea. I've never had chamomile before, but you know, I have it now, so I'm probably gonna try some. And then we have our edible issue book. <clears throat> so uh these are like some coloring cards. I'll get to them in a minute. 
So it's basically just a bunch of food, you know, for you foodies out there. This would be like a really fun book to do. I'm actually uh, considering doing some of these as like a, a collage for like my kitchen. I, I just like how some of them are set up and it would make really cool wall decor. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So there's really like, and cause they're perforated, you can pull them out and the paper is really, really thick. Uh, but if you're going, going to keep them in the book, I recommend putting a piece of paper in between, uh, just in case if you use like alcoholic markers, uh, they don't see through into the next page. Um, but if you're, you want to tear them out, then you really won't have any issue because it's one sided. So that's really good. And I like how it's spiral bound. Everyone loves spiral bound. You can just kind of flip it over and have it be more compact. You know, it's just really nice paper to color on. I found that some pencils though on this paper don't really go too well. I, I had some issues in my last issue, which is why I decided to use my Copic uh, markers and the Copics work so nicely on this paper. They blend so evenly and smoothly. And so really like, I feel like this is like a nice marker paper. Um, if you want to use color pencils, I would recommend probably like an oil base would be best. Just because of the smoothness of the paper, I don't know, I just, pencils, I feel like they don't take the color very well, so I recommend scanning them maybe in your computer and then printing them out on like a, a paper with that has like more tooth to it. That way you're able to layer the pencils. But if you're a marker person, this is like a great marker paper. I love it. So you can see there are really nice images in here. Um, some are really easy to color like this one probably would take you like maybe like I mean depending on how you color this would probably take me like maybe 15 minutes to color and then there are other ones that you know are a little bit more detailed so depending on your mood it really applies to a lot of people uh, how and like what they want to color there's a lot of variety here oh man I almost wish this wasn't here because this would have looked really nice in the collage like on a wall for all you tea drinkers. Ooh, I love this one. That's definitely gonna be included in my little art collage. I'm excited to do this. I actually think I might make that like a series of videos. I was thinking about um, adding on uh, coloring at the end of this review video, um, kind of just like editing it in. But I honestly think now I'm just gonna do separate videos and color a page. Maybe like, I think I'm just gonna do four because four is like a nice even number and it'll make a nice cool collage. And I'll just make that like a series of YouTube videos for you guys. So I think that'll be cool. I'll do that. That's a really good idea actually. So that's the book. So you get, again, a decent amount of pages. And then, you know, you, they send a monthly coloring contest card and you just color the back of it and then you use their hashtag uh, Hue Monthly and they pick a coloring contest winner. Um, I'm not really sure what the winnings are. I have, I honestly have no idea. You'd have to check out their Facebook. Um, but that's kind of cool that they include that. You, they're, you're already getting so much and you're getting more for free. So that's kind of cool. And then if you share this card, you, uh, for, with a friend or family, they get 10% uh, off their first box. So that's kind of cool too. So again, like, your, so the value of the box is $43, it says it on your, in the box page. So the box value is $43, I'm pretty sure that's already paying off what you've spent for your subscription. So you're really getting a good deal. Um, the value of the boxes are way more than what it costs, so it's, you know, a really good option for people um, to subscribe. I really like how they do this. It's a really good idea. It's original. It's different. I like how they kind of get a, I, I'm pretty sure they do like a collaboration with different artists for their books. So that's really cool too. I like how they, you know, an artist, you know, different artists get to be included in one book together. That's kind of cool. I almost wish they would, uh, say who the artists are, but it, it's cool all the way all the way around it. I, I just love it. So I really hope you guys decide to subscribe to Hugh. Um, and again, I'm going to put the promo code in there and it'll get you some monies off and you can save some pennies for whatever else you want to buy. So definitely think about it. I'll be back with more uh, with Hugh definitely um, in the future. So have a good day, guys.